good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we are Team 3. My name is Jeremy Cho from Vendor Development. And my name is Jay Kong Yu. I'm an architecture student. I'm in China from China, a lot of students in construction company. My name is Li Fei, and I'm from the construction science program. I'm from China. My name is Mayanzi from construction science. Okay, we are going to present our development of proposal. So, this Rewetry Academy project for 200 underprivileged African American students. As you can see, the first graph meaning that the educational attainment in Koma area. The, the population who have educated less than high school is about 52 percentage. It's pretty high compared with other major cities. And the poverty percentage of the population below poverty level is about 42 percentage. And the most parents are working together for their living expense. So their parents are harder to support their children. So this coma area is really needed well equipped education system. So the mission of Rivetri Academy, uh, this project is based on the religious background, Christianity. So our slogan is based on the Bible. The good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. So when we uh, design the master plan, we are trying to put this slogan at the master plan. So this is our master plan. Uh, we are divided into three sectors, this uh, site. The first area is the educational zones, and there will be located the school and the barn, red barn. Uh, this red barn is also one of the educational system of our site. And the second one is the residential and recreational area. And third one is working farm. And our, the architect guy will explain our design concept. Okay, I will explain the concept of each building in this project. I, actually, I use the two principles, like functionism and symbolism. Like, dormitory and schools are based on functionism, and relevant is based on symbolism. At first, uh, I designed the dormitory and teacher's apartment using the modular system. So each unit has the same shape, like L shape. And one unit is for eight students and two staff and total of dorm is 22 units. And like here, like there is a small central garden between two units on first and second floor. And the third floor is the teacher's apartment. There is a one master room and three rooms and one storage and, and so on. And as you can see this rendering, I overlap each floor because of something aesthetic shape and real utility system. And this is designed for a school. On first and second floor, there are 24 classrooms and 14 offices for administration and teacher's office. And third floor, I designed the dining room and library. And using the different room height, I try to create a different experience for students. And last building is Redburn. I think that Redburn is an iconic building in this project. So. Uh, for a symbol, I use the shape of cross on the floor plan. Uh, there is a yeah, farmer's market and chapel and dining hall on the first floor, and theater and two offices and three meeting rooms are located in second floor. And I think that this building used by many visitors, so I try to make the space to less, like the outdoor dining hall and last area here by chapel and balcony on the second floor and also using the sunlight and decoration I really tried to some emphasis on simple and aesthetic of this project okay let's review the basic information for our project the project duration is supposed to be uh, 33 months uh, which was started on August 2015 to May 2018 and the estimated construction cost will be nearly, nearly $19 million and there will be three main buildings on site, the school, the dormitory, and the red bar. The uh, delivery method of our project is IPD, so all participants were involved in the project from the pre-design phase to the project close-up. Uh, because of the unique design method, we will only have one construction staging. Uh, the construction staging will last for 20, 22 months, and including the remodeling of the clubhouse. Okay, let's view the video for the project. Howdy, this is a video presentation for Real Trade Academy project. To achieve better collaboration among owner and general contractor and architect, 
from early design phase through the project completion, we use IBD as a delivery vessel. This project containing a new construction of the school, the red farm and dormitory, also the renovation of Kula Park. The location of this project is 5439 Bonnier Avenue at Fort Worth, Texas. The red line is the boundary of the site. This diagram shows the location of area for storage, staging, sanctuary, and lay down. Also, the blue arrow shows the road for transportation. This diagram shows the milestone activity of the schedule. Again, this project starts as a 2015 and at 2018. Here is a construction simulation of the school. This work will begin at December 11, 2015, and the duration of this construction is about 350 days. It is a three-story building, and the type of building is reinforced cement with concrete. The construction of Red Bar starts at March 4, 2016, with 310 days duration. The construction including the isolated footing, tilt up wall, and reinforced cement concrete structure. Thank you for watching this video. Okay, this is the table show the financial part of our project. So the total uh, the total cost for the project is nearly $24 million. And we have two main parts for activation. On the one hand, we can advertise the local area through radio and the TV to tell people stories about our academy. And on the other hand, we can find target donors worldwide through internet. And uh, as a general contractor, we will manage the warranties through the construction phase and turn this document to the facility management company in time. In addition, other maintenance act action will be done for, from our company. And here is uh, the, the estimated facility cost uh, for the next five years after the project completion. Okay, from here we are going to explain Q and V volume. Uh, this claim we approach have the four aspects. The first one is economic and uh, social sensory involvement. So in the economic aspect, uh, there will be income and revenue when school is operating. And this site is also located in the BFW area. In the social aspect, we are putting the farm market at the Red Bun so students can communicate within the community. And we believe that this school will be the center of this common area. So there is a, the, a majority of this the site covered by the green space, and there is a five already existing wall. And so, and we are trying to maintain the previous old club traces so students can work on the nature. We believe that this could be a big opportunity to the student and the visitors. And we find about 40 easement and facility rights on the site based on the timber view survey map. Uh, this slide is, is for the labor. We, uh, when we think about the job creation, we classify two aspects. The first one is job creation during construction. The second one is the job creation during operation and maintenance. So uh, uh, when we calculate the, each individual building needs 40, about 40 labor for the building construction, and they will need the principal, teachers, administrative assistant, even counselor when the operation. So this is the, our last the capture. Uh, this project is based on the, mostly based on the donations. And the total budget assigned to the project from client is about $25 million. And the annual operation budget is about $8 million. And our, uh, design, our design the number, uh, when we calculate, the total development cost of the river economic project is about $24 million. So we think uh, this number shows the financial feasibility of our project. Yeah, this is all about our project. Uh, we really want to help them. And we want to help they can find dream, they can pursue their mission through our whole life. In the end, 
uh, we hope they could be a happy person, or moreover, they could be a region of the happiness to the community. Yeah, thank you for listening to our development program. Thank you.